Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see a very important feature of Microsoft Excel and that feature is known as charts. Now we are going to see in this video that how can we add a chart from a data or a table that is already present or if you want you can just create a new table and uh, basically we are going to see the creation of the charts. And then we are going to see that how can we edit it, how can we customize it and how can we apply filters through that particular chart. So uh, this is a chart that I have already created. So I'm just first going to delete it. And this chart was based on this particular table. So here I have table which has four columns named as Rob, Sam, Joe and Ray. And there are 10 rows uh, ranging from the months January to October. So it is basically the data of the four salesmen and how much products they have sold um, in these 10 months. And this uh, data is what is going to be acting as the base of my chart. So there are the different kinds of charts that are available in Microsoft Excel and you can create different kinds of chart as per your need and uh, as per your wish. But this time I'm going to show you the usage of the bar charts. How can you create those bar charts? And the reason why we are choosing the bar charts over here is cause we have a data that is present is suitable for the bar chart. The bar chart um, that we're going to use is going to have two axes, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. And we want to show the data for the each individual in a separate column, in a separate bar. And that is why we are going to use the bar chart. It is used for an easy representation and it is one of the easiest forms of the charts. So that is why we are going to use the bar chart and the creation of all the charts is similar. It has nothing uh, different. The procedure is similar, only the charts types are different and it is as per the data or as per its needs. So for the bar chart, what you got to do is just select this um, all data or the table, which is going to be acting as um, the basis of your chart. Then you can just go to the insert tab. Here you will have these different chart options. So you can just select on any of the chart options that you want to add. So I'm just going to select on this bar chart option. And these are the different charts that I can create. I can create a 2D column chart, a 3D column chart, a 2D bar chart like in a horizontal manner, a 3D bar chart in a horizontal manner, or there are other options as well. So I'm just going to click on this simple uh, chart, this um, 2D column chart like this, which is a centered column. And as soon as I do that, that's all that I had to do. And my chart is created. Now I'm just going to expand its appearance like this. Now what I'm going to do is just customize it a little bit. Now, as soon as I have created, there are some of the chart styles that are available to me. Now I can apply these styles. These are some of the predefined styles which I can apply to my charts like this. Or if you want to customize your charts in your own way, then you can do that as well. So how can we do that? Uh, there is this kind of a paintbrush option that is present to you. If you just click on it, then also there is these charts options or uh, the different styles that are present and you can just select any style for your chart as you wish. Or if you want, you can just select a different color schemes for your charts as well, like this. Right, so I'm going to keep this color scheme. Now, what if I want to customize the chart as what I like in my own way? Then I just click on this plus sign that is present over here. Then there is an option of chart elements, which helps me to customize the chart as the way I like. And here are four things that are uh, being selected. The axis, the chart title, the grid lines and the ligand. So what is the axis? This axis are this um, Y axis and this X axis that is having the uh, parameters. Then the chart title is present over here, which will help us to understand that what is the title of this particular chart. Then there are these grid lines, which is being selected, uh, which is these horizontal lines. Then there is a ligand. So this is the ligand, Rob, Sam, Joe, and Ray, that what colors are representing them. So this is again used for uh, the better understanding of the charts. Now, what if I want to customize it? 
so i can just go to any other option and select on or click on this arrow and this option would be shown now i also want to show these vertical grid lines i can click on it i want to show minor horizontal lines i want to show the minor vertical lines as well so this is what i can do i can just check on them and it would be shown on my chart now similarly if i want to show the data table that is the table on which this chart is based then again i can just click on it first of all i can just click a uh, check this option and this data table is present now i want to customize this data table uh, so this option by default that is selected is with ligand keys but i do not want ligand keys i want no ligand keys so i just click on no ligand keys and these ligand keys would be uh, omitted from here you can just see it if i just click on with ligand keys then these ligand keys are present and if i just uh, click on no ligand keys then the color options were absent so i click on this with ligand keys option and on this ligand i will just remove from here because it would be redundant in that case now what if i just go to this data tables option then there is another choice that i have that is the more options so if i just click on it then this kind of an option would be shown to me and i can just customize the way my data table is looking in the chart suppose i want to remove this vertical outlines i can just unclick uncheck it and it would be removed if i want to show the verticals but i want to remove the horizontals then they would be removed if i want to remove the outlines as a whole then they would be removed as well so this is what we have um, options available in front of us and this is what we can do how can we customize our chart now similarly if you want other options as well but first of all we can just close it then there is um, an option of data labels if you can just uh, check on it then these data labels are present showing what is the exact value of that particular bar but if you want to customize the way they look you can uh, show them in the center which is not very much good looking in the inside end in the inside base outside end data call out and there are other options as well but i think outside end looks the best so i'm just going to select it then similarly these are the different kinds of options through which uh, you can actually uh, customize the way your chart looks so this is the way that i'm happy with and um, this is my custom view so just click anywhere else and it would all the options would uh, go away and your chart would be visible now if you want to just play with the chart title you can just click on it and provide it with a title like i have provided sales now if you can uh, want you can just uh, change its um, appearance as well you can go to text options you can add a shadow to it like this i want the shadow so the shadow is added and that is how you can uh, format the data that is present inside the chart as well now what if you want to only show uh, the data of the month of january then in that case some filters needs to be added so the question is how can you add filters in a chart that is already being created so there is luckily an option present this is this chart filters option you can just select on it now there are two options that um, whether you want to create it with values or by names so i'm just going to select this values option because that is simpler to understand and i'm just going to uh, minimize the series option because the categories is what we are going to be concerned with we only want to show the data of the month january so just uncheck this select all option and just only select this january option and just click on apply so when you do that you can see that only the uh, values of the month january are now visible to us only uh, in this table as well only the values of the month january are shown and if you want you can again click on filters if you want to show of two months you can select jan and feb then click on apply then these two months data are shown similarly these three months data are shown like here but if you want you can just again click on select all and all this data would be uh, shown once again but what if you want to apply some of the formatting in the series similar option you can show if you want to only show the data of rob uh, so you can just click on select all uncheck the select all option 
and select on rob and only his data would be shown you can just click on apply so it is now only showing the data of uh, how much sales rob did from uh, the month january to the month october and if you want to compare it with sam you can apply it as well so the data of rob and sam are shown over here if you want to show only the data of joe then you can click on joe and apply so only uh, joe's data is now shown so this is the advantage of having charts instead of the actual data you can also apply filters to the charts as well which is what makes it so much interactive and uh, helpful so this is basically all about the charts and in this video you can easily understand that um, how can you use chart what are its basic features how can you customize them so i hope you all have enjoyed it for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge